Hi, this is Leah from Mommy Ish. This is a tutorial on how to use the Ultimate Stitching Set in Photoshop Elements. A lot of you ask for this with the initial um, stitching actions that I made, and I'm so happy to be able to provide this for you guys. And this is even better than the last one, so rock on, right? First thing you're going to do is you're going to install your um, styles, brushes, and of course your actions. If you don't know how to do this, please refer to the video at um, link at the bottom and it will show you how to do that. Um, now on to how to work this thing. <laughs> no, that's really technical. Now on how to work it. Because um, <laughs> it's Valentine's Day today. <laughs> anyway, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Uh, sort of. So I'm going to scroll down. I've already loaded my actions. There's six actions here for Photoshop Elements. Um, each one works with a specific type of um, layer type. So we have shape, then we have simple, and lastly we will have text. So a shape is going to obviously be any layer that you've made with your shape tool. Uh, simple is already simplified layers, as I also like to call it being rasterized. These are usually PNGs, and then text being text layers. Now, the next thing that we will be doing is making sure that first our canvas has edging. Doesn't matter if it is a flat square paper, whatever we need edging, at least half of an inch around. So make sure you do that first. Then the way this is different than the Photoshop style, or not style, but actions, is that we have to do a little more work in elements to make this work right, but I promise you it's worth it and it's not too hard. So here we go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose our brush tool. We have loaded our brushes and you'll see that we have several different brushes to choose from. Before we use any of this uh, actions, we're going to choose the brush type that we want. I'm going to go with the zigzag stitch. So first I'm going to choose the stitching and then I'm going to make sure that my foreground color is the color I would like the stitching to be in this case. I've decided to go with yellow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the quarter inch on the inside, so I'm going to choose simple quarter inch. All right. Now I have my layer chosen. I'm going to use that and hit apply. So there we go. The stitching runs around a quarter inch on the inside. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to choose the next brush being the one that's directly after the whole, which is your whole brush. So it'll say, um, stitching hole number one, um, etc. So here we go. Um, this is the one for the large stitch. So we choose that. Make sure we choose our base layer again because we don't want to stroke over the stitching that we just did. And then we're going to just use that same action one more time, the quarter inch. So I'm going to hit apply. doesn't matter what color your brush is for this part, just so you know. Um, so you can just keep it where you had it. So now we have the base layer and two stroke it layers. The one underneath is going to be the holes. The one above is the stitching. So then what we'll do is we'll go to our um, stitching styles here in our effects. And the first one that shows up here is for the hole. It's the hole style. Um, so we'll apply that. I always forget that you have to double click in elements. And then the stroke it to above that, which is the, um, the stitching styles. And we have six of those. So I'm going to choose one of those. Double click that. Ta-da! And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to simplify that layer. And then I have two different drop shadow styles for the stitching. And I'm going to choose one of those. And I'm done! Just like that. And then you just merge your layers together. It's really easy. Um, but as you can see, that's how that works. Um, this, uh, These actions work with, as I said, the different types of layer styles. So if you're going to do the same thing with the heart, it either the regular one runs along the edge, the quarter of an inch runs a quarter of an inch on the inside. However, the one thing that's a little different is the text on the inside is only 20 pixels on the inside because I anything I thought an eighth of an inch was too little, a quarter of an inch is far too much usually for most alphas that anyone's going to make. So 20 pixels on the inside. Now the cool thing also to remember about this brush, um, these brushes and actions and, and styles and whatever, is you can use them with other people's brushes as well. Even if you just wanted to make an outline, um, like kind of like a doodled outline or something of an element, what you could do is here, I'm going to delete these two layers to show you how this would work, um, is I'm going to, I would choose this simple 
layer again for this type of style and I need to choose a different kind of brush. We're going to go with the calligraphy kind of brushes. I'm going to choose a, the 10 pointer maybe, uh, maybe the 15. We'll choose 15 and I think I'm going to go with a white. Now again, I'm going to choose a simple, um, the quarter inch on the inside again and I'm going to hit apply. And there we have it, a very quick and easy outlined uh, effect. So, <laughs> or you know what I mean, outline, inlined, I guess inline sounds weird. But as you can see, the actions in and of themselves are very useful. Um, and, and I'm sure you'll use them for more than just stitching. You can use it, like I said, with any brush you have. So have fun with that. And I hope this has um, been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at leah at mommyish.net or message me on my Facebook page. Um, thank you for being interested in this. And I hope you like it as much as I do. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>